hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geo boxing empire box for boxing now man this whole canelo Alvarez, clinton buterol situation if you guys have living living under a rock canelo has failed two drug tests since then he's been passed but um Abel Sanchez, Golovkin's trainer, has been very critical of Canelo Alvarez. So has Triple G. Came out and said that he's always been cheating, and he has pictures proving that Canelo Alvarez has been having injections on his body. Um, you know, when you inject steroids or, or clenbuterol, whatever he was taking, you know, you inject it to your body. They said there's pictures of him with you know injections. You can see the injections he he was injecting it that it out in his body. So, um, Abel Sanchez and Triple G, man, they already got a plan B, man. They already got uh, another fighter they, they want to fight in mind. And they say they want to fight Billy Joe Saunders, man. You know, crazy stuff, man. Um, watch, I'm, I'm going to read it for you guys, right? Uh, now, they basically take talk about, Sanchez basically talks about these sanctioning bodies uh, not having jurisdiction over someone's life because they're not taking it serious enough. Uh, apparently, they're going to have a meeting today trying to figure out and hash out what they're going to do with this fight. So, Abel Sanchez, after he's asked the question, if the fight doesn't happen, what is he, what is he going to do next? And he says, and I quote, not at all. We will go a different way. We are not going to bow down to anybody. There's no, ne there's no needs to even, there's no needs to even playing field. The commission or, or the organization have no jurisdiction over someone's life. Somebody's life is more important than what their agendas are. So I think if this fight gets pushed away or doesn't happen, we will go in a different direction. Right? Billy Joe Saunders has been chopping at the bit to fight us. And not only that, but Saunders has a WBO belt that Gennady, Gennady Golovkin wants. So there's a lot of things that can be done other than this fight. You want this fight, obviously, but because there's a lot of questions unanswered and there are a lot of things you want cleared, but it's got to be on an evil playing field. And it's got to be the way where everyone is the same and there's no provincial treatment for anybody, right? So there you go, man. Now, if you guys didn't know, man, this article goes into more detail about Saunders. Uh, he was supposed to be fighting uh, Martin Murray April 14th, but Martin Murray got hurt. So the, it's pushed back to June 23rd. So Triple, Triple G can easily fight, you know, uh, Saunders because he already had a fight scheduled anyway right, on the 14th. So if, you know, if Billy Joe Saunders still wants that fight, he can, they, they can pretty sure negotiate something. Because, you know, they're fighting Triple G, so they probably would want more than April 14th. They probably would want something like in the, the May category, maybe maybe even June 23rd. Maybe just push it all the way back to June to promote it properly. Because, you know, it's in a whole other country, the, i.e. the UK. So, Triple G, man, in my opinion, yeah, man, I think it's really good to start thinking about Plan B right now. Um, uh, Abel Sanchez and Triple G have been very vocal about Canelo Alvarez. The, they basically criticize everyone, said the media hasn't been doing their job. Sanctioned bodies have their agenda. They just want money. And he says, you know, uh, Triple G in the end is getting in his ring. And you guys are playing with this guy's life to make a couple million. And that's not right, which which I agree with. You know, um, the the level of... It, it's just like almost like another day when Canelo, Pat, uh, you know, felt the test. I mean, it was, people were talking about it. But what were people really doing about it? You know, I haven't heard of this guy getting getting any kind of fees or anything done to him, maybe suspended. I haven't heard anything happening about Canelo Alvarez. And like I said, Abel Sanchez and his team and Canelo Alvarez and his team are meeting up today. Maybe something will happen where there's going to be some kind of fee or some kind of, uh, you know, uh, punishment for his failed drug test, which should be the case. You know, what's the point of having these sanctioning bodies and this third-party testing if nothing's going to be done and forced when they actually miss it. It doesn't make any sense. So, you know, Triple G, in my opinion, he's talking a lot of trash, man. He's talking like this guy, he knew he was on something. He talks about an article, man. It, I mean, his article's pretty long. One of the longest I read in a while. Um, he basically said he knew Canelo was dirty before their first fight. <laughs> you know, so Triple G talking that trash, man. You know, um, a lot of people say that this fight has turned into a, a good fight, a second fight. He said, because there is no harsh... Uh, there was no real like bad intentions the first fight, right? But they say this fight basically because all this controversy, controversy turned into a grudge match. You know now they really hate each other. Triple G has reason to hate Canelo. You know, and he's spoken publicly about this guy failing drug test and how he's, you know, he's being, he's getting a special treatment and he's not liking that. 
you know. So there's really bad blood against Triple G and Canelo, and I love that, man. I like that. It's it's better for boxing. It's better for the hype. It's better for the rematch if it ever happens, you know. But in my opinion, Triple G, I think he should just go his way and fight Billy Dos Santos right now because Canelo Alvarez failing a test in, in February is pretty recent, man. It's pretty recent. He felt two at that. So you know, if I were Triple G, if you really want this to be an even playing field fight. He should probably try to fight Billy Dos Santos, and then if he wants to fight Canelo later this year, he should. But I think like a six months off this whatever he Kamuro is a good enough time for it to cycle out of his system. You know, um, fighting him, you know, two months after he was caught on something. I'm not sure how much of an effect it's gonna have on him being off of it completely. You know, uh, Canelo Alvarez. He was known for fighting in between weight classes for years. That's why he wasn't getting tested by any organizations because he wasn't uh, he wasn't officially at least ranked in those organizations. He probably was ranked in it, but he wasn't fighting in a weight class. Weird stuff. Sometimes that happens when you're like a 147 fighter, be fought in a weight class a long time ago, then they might have you ranked. Sometimes that happens in boxing, really rare. But, um, you know, Canelo Alvarez is such a big name. They had him ranked in different sanctioned bodies, even though he wasn't fighting in it. But, you know, as soon as Canelo hopped in about a testing, he popped dirty real quick, you know. So, you know, Triple G, in my opinion, he should just fight Billy Joe Saunders. He should let Canelo Alvarez keep getting tested by uh, the Vada. Um, he should probably fight one fight in between Triple G to just know he's clean and then keep remaining clean until that fight will inevitably happen, you know. But in my opinion, Triple G should, he, he's talking big, but he needs to actually do something about it. In Abel Sanchez, being Triple G's trainer, you know, the whole point of your trainer is to protect your fighter. You know, you don't. it doesn't particularly have to be doing fights to throw in a towel if your fighter is getting smacked around. No, it could be before a fight, man, because we know Canelo Alvarez was cycling something and they're going to be fighting. So why would you have your fighter step in the ring when you know this guy was cycling a performance-enhancing drug, right? Sherwood G needs to step away from Canelo. He needs to do his own thing, fight Billy Joe Saunders in the UK. That's for the better of his career. It's even playing field. Billy Joe Saunders had a phenomenal performance against uh, David Lemieux, too. So that, that's, that's that's perfect, right? So let me know how you guys feel about that, man. You think Triple G should just step away from Canelo and fight Billy Joe Saunders? I think so, man. Let me know how you guys feel. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasking Empire. Peace. Empire.